And we, we are repeatedly asking KDISD questions after learning one of their teachers was found to be taking sexually explicit photos and videos inside her classroom. Well, we have learned she is no longer with Robert E. King Elementary School as of earlier this year. ABC 13's Micah Hatfield has been digging into this story for weeks. She joins us live now with a story you will only see on 13. Micah? Melanie and Eric, Heather McGuire worked as an early childhood special education teacher with Katie ISD. We learned that the district was made aware of these allegations back in January of this year, and that's when they tell us that she resigned. We reached out to her today. We spoke with her husband. He said that they did not want to comment. Fun Friday at school today. Shush, don't tell. This is one of several explicit photos and videos from inside a Katie ISD classroom, making its way to Reddit for thousands of people to see. It's former Robert E. King early childhood special education teacher Heather McGuire seen here on her LinkedIn in the photos. ABC 13 asked Katie ISD if children were present when the content was made, if they informed parents and if there was a criminal investigation. They didn't answer. Instead, sent us this statement saying that she resigned in January of 2022 over personnel issues that did not involve students. We've tried to get a copy of her personnel record to see what was noted as well as any police reports. The district, however, is asking the attorney general to allow them to withhold the documents from us. McGuire's teaching certification was subsequently suspended in April, according to records. The TEA provided us with a copy of their final agreement, saying they found evidence to support claims of improper behavior in the classroom, although they did not detail what that was in the document. Again, McGuire resigned rather than being terminated. Same with the Peyto High School football coach, Lonnie Teagle, who resigned in the middle of his first season with the team, accused of inappropriate conduct with female students. There's an ongoing investigation into those claims. We asked Katie ISD Superintendent Dr. Ken Gregorski why they were not terminated so that it was noted on their employment records. If a teacher resigns in lieu of termination, okay, um, that those get reported to the State Board of Educator Certification. So there is a reporting mechanism in there and the State Board is told any time a teacher resigns in lieu of termination. So that should give some ease to folks who want to know what happens when an employee quits in that. But I can't speak personally about any of the, the situations in Katie. Micah Hatfield, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.